Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Baraka HaKodash, Double Honor to our Elder Apostles and Elder Bishops, Great Millstone, Peace and Blessing to the Elect of Israel. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 9. Surely the owls shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them. Unto the name of Yahweh thy power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. Once again, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto our power. All praise, glory, and honor unto our power, the power of Israel, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rakah HaKudash. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawshai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawshai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawshai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawshai, Bahashom, Rakah Hakudash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops with Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. We are the real Hebrew Israelites. We are the original Israelites. We are the biblical Israelites. Okay? The authentic Israelites, the real Hebrew Israelites, so-called blacks, so-called Latinos, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, people of Negroid and American Indian descent make up the 12 tribes of Israel, as well as the Israelites that are scattered abroad among the heathen that may look like the other nations, but they had the spirits of Israelites because the lineage of their fathers goes back to Hebrew Israelite men from their respective tribes. If you're able to receive this truth. You are Hebrew Israelite also, no matter what you look like. Pursuing Romans 8 and 16 and James 1 and 1. Okay. We've been scattered abroad. And we filter or we uh we measure we measure the uh the spirit of a man according to the Holy Bible. Okay. The Bible is the measuring stick. Okay, and we see if we measure up. According to the spirit of this book, that's how we determine who the Israelites are today. That's how we determine who the Israelites are today. We go by the spirit. Okay. Now, um, this is going to be entitled the ships of Tarshish first. Okay. The ships of Tarshish first. Now, this is an article that was sent to me by the beloved Elder Apostle Yamlab. Which this is going to be the first installment of my series on the Northern Kingdom, proving that the so-called indigenous people of North, Central, and South America, also Canada, okay, Canada, Alaska, North America, Mexico, Central, and South America, and also the Caribbean Islands. All right, the original people that inhabited those lands are Hebrew Israelites from the so-called lost 10 tribes, which were not lost anymore. Okay. None of the tribes are lost anymore. We know who we are. All 12 tribes, we know who we are. Okay. But dealing with the Northern Kingdom, the so-called 10 tribes, all right, so-called lost 10 tribes, which really is nine because Dan was amalgamated among them. OK. They are our people. All right. Now, I'm just going to get into this, man. I pray this is edifying. Like I said, it's going to be the first installment of this series. OK. All right. It's an article that was sent to me by the beloved apostle. All right. So, you know, to me in the spirit, it's only right if I start off with this one. OK. And this is more proof that you either might going to fucking pay. You, you Edomites are definitely going to pay for everything that you've done, okay? Everything that you've done to our people. Now, this is put up on New York Post, okay? NY Post, NewYorkPost.com. All right, this is put up August 8th, 2022. The year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh turning up. And the Lord is indeed turning up his prophecies. All right, the Lord is making moves, Okay? And you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait. He gonna do even more, man. All right. Now sticking to this topic, we're gonna read the title. It says, Sunken Jewels, Buried Treasure Uncovered in the Bahamas from Iconic 
17th century Spanish shipwreck. And when it says 17th century, it's talking about the 1600s. Okay? 1600s AD. All right? Which, you know, by the shipwreck, this proves that you got caught in stealing. You, you, you got caught stealing, pretty much. <laughs> you know? That's what happened here. You got caught. All right? You're going to pay for this too, man. Now, this is put up by Angelica Stable or Stabile. I'm saying her last name right. A Spanish shipwreck. And that's why I entitled this The Ships of Tarshish first. Because basically, when you go into the history, the slave trade really started with the Spanish and Portuguese. Okay? Them taking, you know, uh, the so-called Moors from from uh, Seville, Spain, from Portugal, from uh, from different parts of Europe, and bringing them to the Americas in slavery. That's how the slave trade started. Okay, as well as when they came over to the Americas, you know, when they came over to the Americas, the the Spanish conquistadors, they came over here and they actually, you know. Put our people on those different ships that they brought over here and brought them back to Europe. Okay. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the, the, uh, the so-called 10 tribes, so-called lost 10 tribes, which really is nine. Okay. They are of the Northern kingdom. Okay. So it's not a so-called, uh, you know, 10 tribes, you know, but people call them the so-called lost 10 tribes. I'm saying so-called lost because they're not lost. All right. We know who we are now. But that's how the slave trade started. They brought, you know, the uh, the southern kingdom, you know, uh, those different Moors from different parts of Europe. They brought them over to the Americas. And, and uh, when they came over to the Americas, they put different uh, men and women from the northern kingdom on those same ships and sent them back. To Spain and other parts of Europe. All right. And they also stole a lot of our treasures. They, they stole a lot of gold, a lot of silver, a lot of precious stones. Okay. And, and us. <laughs> and, and they stole us too. And they brought us to Europe. Now, it says after more than 360 years, Allen Exploration was able to bring to the surface. Riches from the Nuestra Señora de las Maravillas. Okay, which is uh, talking about that ship. All right. A treasure trove of jewels, medallions, and historic artifacts has been uncovered in the Bahamas that date back to the legendary 17th century Maravillas shipwreck. And the public can now get a look at it. Because this thievery actually took place. They actually stole our different goods. Okay. And this shipwreck, that's them getting caught. Pretty much. Nuestra Señora de las Maravillas. Our Lady of Wonders. A two-deck Spanish galleon Sank on... January 4th, 1656, off the Little Bahama Bank in the northern Bahamas on a trip to Seville from Cuba. Right, so it was going back to Spain and it was leaving Cuba, the island of Cuba, all right? Which you had a tribe of Manassas that's there, you know, but they was leaving Cuba, going to Seville, Spain, with all our treasures, by the way, stealing our stuff. And you're going to pay for that, man. All right, now let's keep reading. It had been carrying numerous treasures of both royal tax and private property. The 891 ton ship went down after colliding with its fleet flagship. <laughs> it's funny, man. You know, it struck a reef 30 minutes later and ultimately sank. 
The remains of the vessel were scattered for several miles across the ocean with no significant portion of the ship left behind. For more than 360 years, archaeologists and adventurers have attempted to locate the debris that was lost in the wreckage. Look at them under there. And it shows you that Esau Edom, they look into everything, man. Like the apostles say. Allen Exploration has been pulling out pieces of the treasure since 2020. And now we're in 2022. And that shows you that Esau Edom is in power because how else could they be able to look into all these different things, man? You know, what type of time would you have? What type of technology would you have to be able to do all this stuff? That shows you the Edomites are still in power, man. People rel related to the Spanish <laughs> are in power today. Because <laughs> the Spanish were Edomites. The, you know, the Allen Exploration. The Allen Exploration. These different Edomites that's uh, digging up these artifacts and treasure. These are Edomites too. You know? Because how could um because how could you have access to do all these different things, man? The Edomites are still in power today. The vocab. And you were Edomite too. Let's keep reading. And while much of the treasure, an estimated 3.5 million pieces out of eight was salvaged between 1656 and the early 1990s. Modern day technology tools such as high resolution magno, uh, magnetometers, enhanced GPS and metal detecting have allowed Allen exploration to bring to the surface riches beyond the imagination. And we getting all that back. We getting all that back. You know, when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, we're getting all that back. Everything you stole, including you. We getting you too. We getting everything you stole and yourselves, your person. We getting we getting everything you stole from us and you. You part of the package, Edom. Okay. In an interview with Fox News Digital, Allen Exploration founder Carl Allen said that he and his team began pulling up precious artifacts in July 2020. Near Walker's K. High tech tools plus the official permission they received from the Bahamian government to search the northern Bahamas area, known to be a wreckage hotspot, have made for quite amazing discoveries, the entrepreneur said. <laughs> Discovering what you stole. You know? And a lot of times when they use that word discover or discovery, it's basically stealing, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. You know, you, you're stealing and, you know, you so-called discovered. I'm saying so-called discovered because you didn't discover anything. There were people already here. When you so-called discovered the Americas, you stole it. People were already living here, man. Discovering is another way of you saying you, you stealing. Okay. Discovering the Americas. People were already here. All right. And what about the so-called Chinese? What about, you know, the uh, the Vikings? You know, uh, Moab and uh, and the Israelites that was calling themselves Vikings. They came over before you. Anyway, it says we've recovered thousands of artifacts, he said. Cannons, anchors, emeralds and amethysts. We're up to about 3,000 silver coins and 25 gold coins, he said. And it's one of the gold coins here. Look at that. We're getting all that back, man. Allen Exploration used high-tech tools to locate and pull the riches out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, they did it by where the technology the Lord gave them, you know. But see, this shows you that uh, these have to be the Edomites that are in power today. You know, scriptures say, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret they can hide from thee. Esau is wiser than Daniel by way of his technology. Okay. That's how they're able to dig up 
these different artifacts, these lost treasures that were stolen goods, things that they stole from our people and, and sending it back to Spain. But you're caught red handed. That's why this, you know, this uh, shipwreck took place. Once again, that's you getting caught. All right. And you Edomites are still stealing today, you know, stealing all the world's natural resources, hoarding it up to yourself, you know. Whether it be, you know, um, you know, oil, you know, more gold, okay, opium poppies, you know, etc., man. You're still still in, you know, the different resources in the earth. Okay? Including people. And the people are still in your hand, man. We're still found in your hand. Anyway, dealing with this shipwreck. It says the water in the area only the water in the area only reaches up to 50 feet deep while the sand can bury treasures down to 20 feet. He revealed yet that didn't stop Alan from proving his doubters wrong and discovering treasures that took his breath away. He didn't discover anything, <laughs> you know. You're still in what other Edomites stole. Which belongs to us. When I pulled up the first valuable item, I lost my breath. He said, I couldn't breathe. I've been thinking about this my whole life. Hey, because that's what you created to do. You know, um, the thief cometh not before to steal, kill, and destroy. You eat them as a program to be the wicked. To steal, murder, and destroy. That's a part of your DNA. It's in your spirit, man. The fascinating finds also include Spanish olive jars, Chinese porcelain, and iron rigging, according to an Allen X press release. The team also discovered a silver sword handle belonging to the soldier Don Martin de Aranda E. Guzman. And uh, hey, that might be given to the elder brother Malcolm, man. He's always <laughs> he always giving brothers those swords, man. They, you know, hey, hey, the Lord may give him that, you know what I'm saying? Either way, man, we're getting all our different goods back. You eat them, I stole from us, man. You know? The item helped the teams identify these treasures as belonging to the sunken Maravillas. And, you know, let's get some scripts, man. Because you eat them, I are going to fucking pay. I'm going to read this one more time, and I'm going to get Isaiah 33. All right, first, we're reading Isaiah chapter 60, verse 9. Surely the owls shall wait for me. Al's talking about islands because you have a lot of Israelites scattered on these different islands. OK. For example, we're in Cuba, we're in uh, the island of East Spaniola, which is the Dominican Republic and Haiti today. It was called uh, Kiskea, also Aidi. All right. Our people on that island. OK. On the island of uh, Borican, which is the island of uh, Puerto Rico. All right. And we're scattered everywhere. You know, on different islands, you know. Israel is everywhere, man. You know. Got Israelites in Japan, Israelites in Hawaii, you know. But I'll read on. It says, and the ships of Tarshish first. Tarshish is talking about Spain. Why is it saying first? You know, you're going to be bringing our sons and our, and our daughters. You're going to be bringing our sons, our daughters, and their riches, you know. Bringing all this back to Jerusalem because the slave trade started with Spain. So it's only right that hey, hey, the Lord have you bringing our goods back on ships. OK, the slave trade started with you. You know what they call it? The, uh, um, you know, beginning with you so-called discovering the Americas, the Spanish exploration, you know. Spanish exploration, Spanish discovery, you know, beginning with uh, Cristobal Colon, which means Christ bearing colonizer, Christ bearing conqueror. You call him Christopher Columbus. You know, the so called Spanish exploration started with him, but he didn't discover the Americas. Once again, y'all stole this from our people, okay? You conquered, you know, those different islands in the name of Spain. Those different islands and uh, 
Also, you know, Mexico, Central and South America. Dealing with Mexico, Mexico was actually called New Spain. It's called New Spain, man. And that's why people down in Mexico today, they speak Spanish. They have, you know, Spanish names. Going back to who they were conquered by. All right. The ships of Tarshish first. You're going to be bringing our sons. Well, let's read. To bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them. Because you conquered our people. You conquered our people. You enslaved them. You murdered them. And you stole their riches. You know, so you're going to be bringing them back in glory to the land of Israel, along with their gold and silver. And now how the Lord is going to have this play out, we're going to see. When Yahweh Shai comes, but this is going to come to pass, man. Now it says, unto the name of Yahweh thy power, which his name was put in Jerusalem. He said his name in Jerusalem. So, you know, this is going to come to pass, man. You know? The Lord have you different Edomites of, uh, of Tarshish bringing our sons from far. Okay? Along with their riches. Bringing them back to Jerusalem. Okay. Now it says unto the Holy One of Israel and to the Holy One of Israel because he have glorified thee. That's right. Can't wait, man. Our people going to have immortality. They're going to have those glorified bodies. That new covenant. Praising Yahweh Bashem Yahweh forever. And we're going to have you Edomites in slavery. You know, and we're going to have slave ships too. That's another lesson for another day. But you Edomites are definitely going to pay for what you did to us, man. You go into captivity, and we're going to take everything you got, which really belonged to us anyway. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 1. Woe to thee that spoiled us, and thou was not spoiled. Talking to you Edomites. You spoiled us, man. And ain't nobody mess with you. All right? Woe to thee that spoiled us, and thou was not spoiled, because our people over here in the Americas were minding their own business, you came over here and started messing with them. Taking from them, plundering them, spoiling them. And deal us treacherously, right, deceitfully, okay, making covenants. And you broke every last covenant, every last treaty you made with our people. You broke every last treaty, man. You damn devil. And deal us treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. Right? When thou shalt cease to spoil, meaning when you stop stealing, thou shalt be spoiled. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. So we in a time now, you're about to be spoiled. We're going to take everything that you got, including you. Once again, it's going to be a package deal. You part of that package. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. That's right. We're going to deal shrewdly with you. We're going to deal deceitfully with you, which really is right. There's no wrong in it. That's right, man. Two negatives make a positive. The, the same energy you put out is going to come back to you. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. And scriptures say, for he shall have judgment without mercy. They have showed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. You know? The scripture say how the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel, set us in our own land. The Israelite foreigners are going to be joined with them, going to be joined with us. You know, they're going to cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to be one with us. We're going to be one nation again. And we're going to take you, you Edomites and you other nations and bring you to our place, the land of Israel. And we're going to possess you in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. This is in Isaiah chapter 14. We're going to take you captives. Whose captives we were, and we're gonna rule over our oppressors. You see? It all lines up. It's a lot of heat in the book of Isaiah, man. You know? You Edomites are gonna pay. And the crazy part about it, you're still doing us wrong. You're still murdering us, still got us in captivity, and you're still stealing from us, man. You're still robbing us. Okay? And you're going to pay though. Isaiah chapter 17 verse 12. Woe to the multitude of many people, the other nations, 
beginning with Edom, which make a noise like the noise of the seas. Right, because they had these different plans about what they want to do concerning this uh, one world order. You know, this uh, this global reset. Okay, digital currency and ultimately enslaving all of mankind and mainly our people having us in captivity forever. And it's not going to happen. We're at the end of our captivity. We're not going to slavery again, man. Now it's your turn. And to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters, because ultimately they're going to want to move on us, especially those that know the truth. They're going to want to move on us. OK, what's that? Uh, Isaiah 59, is it 19? You know, when the enemy should come in like a flood, they're going to make a move on us, man. The nation show rush like the rushing of mighty. How about I say mighty? Excuse me. The nation shall rush like the rushing of many waters. Right. But the heavenly father shall rebuke them. And they shall flee far off. Right. He's going to rebuke them by way of these nuclear missiles in World War Three and also the laser beams from the chariots. OK. And also the Lord is going to give his men that spiritual power. He's going to raise them up. Now it says, and she'll be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind. Right. You think about those thermonuclear missiles and the laser beams from the chariots. And like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And the so-called UFOs are compared to a whirlwind. You know? So you other nations, man, you're going to get checked. You're going to get checked for messing with us, man. For messing with the people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And behold, at evening tide, trouble. And before the morning, he is not. <laughs> yeah, you Edomites are done, man. And behold, at evening tide, trouble. And, and see, we're in the evening tide now. See, you about to go down, boy. All right? You about to go down. Hey, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to take you down. So the, the evening represents... You know, the sun setting on your empire. You're done, man. And before the morning, he is not. Yeah, when the kingdom of heaven is established, you're not going to be in power. You're going to be in chains. You're going to be not a no people, a, a no person. You're going to know what it feel like, man. The Lord did it to his own people. Let's see what happened to you, which are not the people of the Lord. You know, he is not, meaning you're not going to be in power and you're going to be a nobody, man. This is the portion of them that spoil us and a lot of them that rob us. This is what's going to happen to you. That's right, man. That's right. Slavery is definitely in the Bible. Destruction is definitely in the Bible. Okay. And payback. Payback is in the Bible. Recompense. Let's go back to the article. Dealing with everything you stole, we're getting all that back and some. And some, man. Okay? Four pendants worn by the members of the Sacred Order of Santiago, a religious band of knights active in Spanish maritime trade, were also recovered. But see, all these different pendants and, you know... Um, you know, bracelets and necklaces and different jewels, you know. This pretty much was uh, all made from, from uh, valuable uh, uh, things that our people had. Okay? Now, you know, Esau, he, he may have gotten it and, you know, souped it up to look like what he wanted it to look like. You know, melted the different gold down and and took, took the different uh, stones that he stole and putting them in uh, his signets, you know. You know, they did that. You know, putting them in bezels and, you know, chain it up, changing it up. Changing it up to, you know, to look like what he wants to look like. But ultimately, these are things that you still stole. You stole it from us. All right. Make it into crosses and, and everything like that. 
These are all things that you stole, okay? Making idols. The finding of the Marabias reflects an amazing leap in technology. Showing you that we're in the end now. The scriptures say how knowledge shall be increased. You know? That's how they're able to do this. That's how they were able to recover these things. Don't say, you know, discover. Let's say recover. Because that's, that's what they're doing. They're recovering what they stole in the first place. Okay? Alan X considered the order of Santiago jewels to be the star finds thus far. One golden pendant with the cross of Santiago was designed in the shape of a scallop shell. It is reinforced by what appears to be an Indian bezoar stone, a famous European stone known for its healing properties. All these different things you stole. You stole it. Another golden pendant garners the same cross overlaying a large ovular Colombian emerald. An emerald from Colombia. Things that you stole. And an emerald, an emerald is very precious. An emerald is, is a very precious uh, barrel. You know? Because you had different... Uh, Different kinds of barrels. You know, you have an emerald. You have a uh, aquamarine. You have what's called red barrel. It's supposed to be like a rare barrel. You have different types of barrel. But, you know, an emerald is, is, a, is a very precious barrel stone. And you stole it. You stole it from Colombia. We're reading about it. All right. Three gold chains were retrieved, including an 887 gram gold fil filigree chain made up of 80 circular links and decorated with four lobed rosette motifs most likely crafted in the Philippines the group said which also there's Israelites in the Philippines you know among Japheth and Moab you know you got Israelites over there Israelites that uh, go back to the Moors, Israelites, Israelites that go back to uh, Issachar, you know, Issachar and some of the other northern kingdom are in the Philippines, you know, and the Philippines were also conquered by the Spanish, you know, for people that didn't know that, okay? Now it says, Alan X indicated that no exact replicas of the chain exist. From other excavations in museum collections or as seen in Spanish portrait art. And we're getting that back. We're getting all that back, man. All these different gold chains. All these different things that you put in your museums that you stole from us. We're getting all that back, man. When you have a shot returns. We're not going to do it by our own power. You know? It says, Allen Exploration Archaeologist Jim Sinclair told Fox News Digital that these artifacts reveal how people lived in the colonial period and in the New World. <laughs> well, they call it the New World because they so-called discovered it. But people were already here. You know, people always knew about this side of the earth, man. You Edomites are idiots. People always knew about the Americas, man. You know? S since the time of King Solomon. You know? P people knew about it. And, and I'm sure before that, but you know, during the time of King Solomon, that's when a lot of uh, explorations took place. You know, a lot of maritime trade, you know, a lot of uh, expeditions, you know, took place during that time of King Solomon. All right. As an archaeologist of 40 years and as an original ex explorer of iconic wrecks such as the Titanic Sinclair said a recovery such as the one from the Maravillas reflects an amazing leap in technology. The archaeologists also considered the artifact analysts to be a really good development in terms of detecting human behavior and history. Although the worth of these artifacts most likely add up to the millions of dollars, the items are priceless, said Bill 
Springer, Allen Exploration spokesperson. None of the Allen Exploration findings will be put up for auction or for sale. And you know what? The Israelites are going to get that back. We're going to get it back eventually, you know. The findings will be put on display at a museum. Allen Exploration. Instead, the finds will become part of an exhibit at Allen Exploration's Bahamas Maritime Museum located at the Port Lucaya Marketplace in Freeport. The museum is set to open on Saturday, August 6, 2022. So yeah, it's open right now. It will reveal other exhibits about maritime history in the Bahamas as well as the transatlantic slave trade and the Lucayan people. Yeah, so you're going to pay. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like, well, damn. Esau pretty much, um, he showcases us, man. You know, we're a, uh, we're a, um, a spectacle to these devils. You know, we're a spectacle to these devils, man. Us, you know, our, our history, you know, the culture we had, all right, along with the different things we, we possessed. But once again, a scripture say, God is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know? You want to talk about the slave trade of our people and the Lucayan people? Well, guess what? Your turn is next, man. Your turn is next. Now it says only 45 survivors. The Maravillas exhibit, excuse me if I'm saying that word wrong, excuse me for that. All right. The Maravillas exhibit also showcases the, the story of the ship's demise of the nearly 650 passengers who were on board the ship. Only 45 are known to have survived. And you know, the Lord brought judgment on those people, man, because look what you stole. All right. You damn thief. And they, are, they have all these different, you know, stories about El Dorado, the lost city of gold somewhere in South America. You know, so hey, the Spanish, they came over here purposely to the Americas to enslave and murder our people and, and to, uh, take what they have all right to steal from them they even showed that in that damn cartoon uh that cartoon movie pocahontas you know story of pocahontas and uh and john smith and had those different uh englishmen which are other edomites singing that one damn song dig and dig and dig it eat our money money our money money you know they, they, was, they were talking about stealing from our people and showed you how, how, uh, you know, pretty much, um, what's the word? Basically, you know, gold thirsty they were, you know, we, you got the term gold diggers. Like they were literally digging for gold, <laughs> and, you know, gold diggers. Well, you know, it began with Esau Edom stealing the gold from our people. Hunting for that gold. You had the California, uh, the California gold rush. You got a lot of paying to do, Esau, Edom. Okay. Anyway, it says no human remains have been located. The shipwreck was a tremendous blow. Allen explained since Spain at the time was struggling financially. And the boat was jam packed with valuables. And Kahalai and Laya, how about Shimia was shy? They didn't get those valuables. All right. The ship crashed and it sank. Kahalai and Laya, how about Shimia was shy for that, man? It was one of the largest treasure ships to have ever left the Indies. Which is why Allen said he expects more artifacts to be uncovered still. And you're not going to keep it. Scriptures say that which you have labored for shall you restore. And you're not going to you're, you're not going to um, rejoice in your goods. That's in the book of Job. 
All right. The mother load has yet to be discovered. You Edomites are greedy, man. <laughs> he indicated. And when it is, he said the hall will be extremely valuable. The manifest usually on these old ships, a lot of times it was only about half of what was on the ship because there was so much contraband, he said. So that's what's exciting. Along with launching the museum, Allen is furthering his passion for discovery and education by developing underwater archaeology programs for Bahamian kids. Some bullshit, man. The big program, excuse me, the big problem is the debris is not going to stay there forever, he said. And it's a playground of shipwreck. So I created a path for other people to do this. And I welcome it. Well, you Edomites are done, man. You know, you're done. You know, so, hey, you know, you do what you do. But the Lord is going to pay you back for what you did to his people, man. All right. And I'm going to get this in the book of Proverbs. Get ready to close it out. Because once again, you know, you're still taken from us. And now we're the poor. We don't have anything now. You know, we don't have power, you know, and you're, you're stealing from us. All right. And you have a lot of different people in these different lands, you know, in Central America, South America, you know, the different West Indies, you know, the, the different Caribbean islands are people in these different lands and they don't have access to the resources on those lands. You take those resources for yourselves, man. Okay. So this is what the scriptures got to say about you. Because you Edomites are going to pay. You have not yet paid for this, man. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 22. Rob not the poor because he is poor. And you Edomites rob the poor. You don't care. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. You do this. We are the afflicted. For Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will plead their cause. And spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. You're going to get paid back for everything that you did, man. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. This is about to happen. You're going right into slavery, man. Revelation chapter 13. Well, let's get that. Let's get that. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You led us into slavery, you go into slavery. Okay? And you took everything that we got. We're going to take everything that you got. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's right. That's right, man. This is another scripture. It's a scripture in the book of uh, Job. Okay? Um, It says you heap silver as the dust. All right. Because you're taking everything that we got and you're hoarding it to yourself. Right. Job chapter 27, verse 16. Though he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the clay. Right. So you got all this, this uh, all, all these different. You know, um, precious stones, pearls, you know, gold, different jewels, gold and silver. All right. You, you prepare it or you heap it up as the dust. You hoard it as dust. Dust is innumerable. So these different elite banking families, they have different uh, stores of uh, of gold, different vaults of gold, vaults of gold, vaults of silver, of precious stones, etc., man. And they prepare raiment or clothing as the clay, you know, uh, raiment, you know, of, uh, of, uh, um, of silk, different silk and, you know, different, uh, gold stitching, you know, different gold embroidery all in the clothing. We're going to get all that. Verse 17. He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, which are the Israelites. We're going to put that clothing on all that, all that good silk. All right. Etc. And the innocent shall divide the silver. Who are the innocent? The Israelites. 
the innocent, also the poor, also the afflicted, the meek. Okay. That's right, man. Which, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's some other scriptures in the book of Job, but I believe we can end off on that. You know, you eat a mice are going to pay and everything that you stole from us, we're, we're going to get it all back. That which that which you labor for, you're gonna restore. Which you know you really didn't labor for it. You stole it, man. Okay? You made us labor for it. You made us dig for it. Made us plant it. Made, made us build it. But you're gonna give it all back. All that free labor too. All that free labor, you gotta give it all back. And and double. It's gonna be double, double labor. Double the work of what we put in to build this bullshit corporation that you got man to, to build up this bullshit system that you got that everyone is in awe about Every, everyone is wandering after the beast this system was built off the back a uh, 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 sweat a uh, uh, blood and tears of the israelites you know and you got to get paid back for that boy all right we're gonna belittle you beat shit out of you okay emasculate you make you feel like you, you you're not a human all right. You, you, you just going to get beat to nothing, man. Brought down to nothing. Like we had read, man, you're going to open your eyes and, and you're not. OK, I want to give all praises, glory and honor unto our power, the God of Israel. Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. I hope this is edifying. Um, I want to put the article back up. You know, hold on. Give me a second. But yeah, I just got to do this. Just had to go back. Once again, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto our God, the God of Israel, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha HaKudash. Double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles, and elder bishops, great millstone, GMS. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom.